Hi guys! How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the replay. If you're catching me on the replay, type in hashtag replay. If you're catching me live, type in hello so I know you're with me. Fantastic! There we go. Hello, hello! Hi, friends! How's everybody today? I hope you've all had a wonderful week. I have another package that I'm going to open up and pull some stuff out and maybe even do some sampling of colors. I don't know. I'm just winging it. Let's grab this big old package. Put it up here. Let's see. Get the scissors. We do such a good job of packaging our stuff. I can get it open. There we go. It was taped really well. box. We have some small squeegees and some star six, some magnetic white boards. These are the 10 inch rounds. Oh, there's one. I don't know if I got multiples. A multi-tool. Mini squeegees. Look at how cute they are. You guys, they're so adorable. Oh, things are falling on the floor. I got some paste and some transfers. Let's see. We got the kitchen measurements. Let's see if that's actually what that's called. Yep, kitchen conversions. Like that. Squeeze the day. This thing is huge, you guys. Have y'all seen the squeeze the day? I'm loving that. It's got um, your leaves and your branches, so you make your own form for the for the actual wreath. And then you've got lemons and oranges, and I guess this would be a grapefruit. And you've got different sizes of everything, and some flowers. That's really pretty. This is like an orange blossom. That's going to be great. The wreath itself is not um, as big as I thought it was going to be. And I think I really like that. Look. I, oh, it's bigger than the 10-inch round. Okay, well, it's still, by comparison, if this is 10 inches, that's not terribly large. So that's really kind of a good thing. Some of the wreaths that I have, I don't have anything big enough for them to go on. And I got another font. This one is handwritten font that mimics the Ray Dunn. Got another one of those. And a bunch of little ones. Let's just pull those out. Let's see if that's everything in this big envelope. I think it is. Let's 
love that. Cannot wait to do this one. I'm going to do this one for my own house. I love the kitchen conversions. Isn't it so cute? Hi, hi. Thanks for joining. Okay, and let's see. I got... You're 29, you're turning 29 again. And then all the rest of these are monograms. I got a bunch of monograms. I decided to get monograms for everybody in my family so that I can do stuff for them as a surprise and I, I started out to get the whole alphabet and I just decided that was too much at one time and I don't necessarily need it but I've had some people contacting me asking for specific things um, spelled out and asking if we have that with Chalk Couture and I'm thinking well actually we do because we can spell out anything either with one of the fonts or if we wanted to have um, big letters like if we wanted to have a series of five by sevens that each had a letter on them and spell out home or love or whatever the case may be we could do that oh this is taped really well okay so I got copper paste the shimmer copper and I got the new guava that comes in the kit. I want to have that. So let's compare really quick. This is couture coral. And so you can see the difference between the guava and the coral. This, this is much more orange and this is much more pink. And then, of course, we have... The raspberry sorbet and that's cherry blossom. Let's see. We also have peony. Let me grab that one. Peony and cherry blossom. So there we go. Great little ombre that's going to be. Love that. And then here's the copper, and I wanted to show that in comparison to the gold. They're really, really different. In the inks, they're not so different. It's kind of like a bright gold and an old gold, but in the paste, it really is a bright copper. It's beautiful. Hope that should have well. hope I hope how's everybody doing have you had a good week I hope so I hope I hope oh and I forgot we have wild berry too going into the purple this is raspberry sorbet and this is wild berry Loving that. Loving that guava. So let's see. We have for the new kit, we have bright white, we have peony, we have couture teal, we have parakeet, and guava. Look at those colors. Isn't that fabulous? Like so. They're so great. I want to have a look at our guava. I say we try it out. I'm just going to tap it down a little bit, especially because I've had it upside down. So we'll tap it down a little. Oh, before I do that, I have got to pull one of these out. These are the brand new mini squeegees that come in a 12 pack. So you have the small squeegee and you have the mini squeegee. And by comparison, this is the old small squeegee that was the horizontal that we cut down and cut it in half. And look guys, it's almost exact. Isn't that fabulous? So no more having to cut those and have them be um, 
jagged edges and it's branded. It says Chalk Couture right in it. Love that. Love it, love it. I see that as being something I'm probably going to be ordering with every order. Pick some of those up. They're great to give away. Of course, you can make up some small kits. All right, let's see if we can open this one. They tell us that they're rolling out the Easy Peel lids, and I don't know if they're going to have a tab on them or what they're going to be. Just I've heard um, from leaders who actually went to leadership and got to try them that they really are an improvement. So I keep being I keep being hopeful that I'm going to get an easier time opening these things because I hate hate opening them. Anybody else like that? It's such a mess. I don't, I don't like that. Let's just lift it up with the spatula. Ooh. Lots of paste on the lid there. This one is super, super thick. I cannot wait until they all have easy open lids. Okay, I'm gonna get messy. This reminds me of, well, it's called guava. I was gonna say it kind of reminds me of a persimmon color. But it's called guava, so I guess it's supposed to look like guava. <laughs> that would make sense. Oh my goodness, I'm so covered. All right, get that out of the way. And I'm going to stir this down. It seems a little thick, but as you guys know, when you first get your paste, you want to stir it down anyway in case some of the um, pigment has separated. And so you're going to mix that pigment back in. You can see that happen on like the raspberry sorbet. The colors separate a little bit. So you want to stir that, stir that, stir that down. And then it actually makes it a lot creamy. You know, it's almost, um, we say that it's supposed to be the consistency of yogurt. It's almost the consistency of cake batter. Does that make sense? You guys think that cake batter is kind of an appropriate way to look at it? All right, what can we chalk? Let's see. I want to test it out. There you can really see the difference. I hope it shows up on camera. That is the coral and that is the guava. A board and base right here next to me. What can we chalk? I kind of want to see the difference. So let me grab something. Summer is my happy place. I'm gonna pull it out of the package, 
grab a fezzing cloth. Of course, I'm going to write on the back of it. And let's see, how many colors should we do, guys? Should we use the new raspberry sorbet also? Do all three of those? That could be pretty. Give this one a stir. Awesome. Okay, let's fuzz it up. So if you pull the backer sheet away from the actual transfer, you're going to have a little more control and it reduces static electricity. Just a little tip. Let's fuzz this one three times. Set that aside. Well, I think I stuck it too soon. Let's see. Try to get it somewhat straight at the top. And I'm just going to take my small squeegee and go over the silk screen area there. Have little flecks of color everywhere. All right, shall we do ombre? What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you want to see ombre. Kind of makes a, a almost like a crackling sound when you stir it. Almost. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna take the guava first and the raspberry last with the coral in the middle. And I'm gonna just go over. The guava, put it back in the bucket, in the jar, and then I'm going to go over the coral, and I'm leaving a little bit behind of the coral, and then I'm going to go over the raspberry, like so. And then I'm going to put a little water on my mat and get my fingers wet and come in here and swirl these together. Okay, this one, the guava wanted to dry, so I'm going to add just a touch more guava to my fingers because it is not wanting to move. There we go. Now it's moving. And then down here, we're going to mix these guys together. Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay, and then I'm going to just pull the excess off. I have empty jars that um, are kind of like color families. And so I have an empty jar that I put all the pinks in. I've got one for blues. I've got one for greens. Oh, I smeared a little bit of that. That's okay. 
And so I take the leftover paste from doing hot mess and ombre um, when it isn't just a muddy, muddy mess. And I stick it in those empty jars and um, just kind of create my own little color because it reconstitutes so well. All right, guy, lift up for me. All right, let's pull that off. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I'm loving that. Put this to the side so I can have a little more space. Oh, I smeared it. Ha! Ah, okay, well, we're going to clean it up. I'm going to let it dry a little and then we'll clean that up. I can't believe I smeared it. It was so good. All right, Q tip, a little bit of water. Get the smear. I may have to go over the M. Might have to do it. Look at how cute those colors are. Can you see how good the colors look? That's fantastic. Okay, I'm trying to get in a hurry. I'm over here going, just put it back down and go over the M. I'm going to let it dry, take my own advice, let it dry, and then fix it. Love, love, love the colors. Ooh, I know what other one I want to see, too. I want to see the new peony with the guava. Oh, oh, it's new. I haven't opened it yet. Haven't opened it yet. Let's see if it'll open easily. Hi, Tam. Hi, Tanya. Let's see you guys snuck in here while I was pasting it up. I'm bound and determined to get this off without making a huge mess. I don't know. It never, it never happens that way, right? Every trick I have tried, it doesn't matter. It still makes a mess. Still does. It's still not dry either. I did it kind of thick. Even though I pulled the excess paste off at the end, I still left it a little thicker than I normally would, so it's taking its time drying. Oh, come on. Come on, lid. Open for me. It really is like the old bubble gum. It's so close to the old bubble gum. I loved that color. I'm glad they brought something close to it back. Y'all probably can't see it, but I'm making a huge mess. So I'll show you once I get it. <laughs> once I get it open and get the lid scraped and all that good stuff. so pink. All right, I'm going to stir this one. It is crackling. The pigment is down in there. I love how it starts out and it's like it's so dry and then you just stir, stir, stir and you can see it get smoother and smoother. I'm loving what they've done with the consistency. It's a great improvement. So yeah, look at that. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh. Pretty, pretty. 
Okay, let me see what else I can do. I'm going to set this aside for a minute. Well, the pedestal is what I have close by, so that's what I'm going to use. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get it straight. does not look straight to me. Okay. Should we do hot mess? What do you think? Hi Donna Lee. What do you think? What do you think? Should we do a hot mess on this one? Should we do one color? Should we do ombre? First one to type it in, that's what we'll do. I think yes was to hot mess. So let's put some Peony, some raspberry, some coral. I don't know. I don't kind of want to do. I kind of don't want to do the coral. I think it's going to make coral. So let's do some guava. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna I'm gonna do what Ken does. He smears it around a little bit. So wet fingers, smear it around. I think it needs a little more raspberry right here. Oh yeah. Okay. Gold. Oh, gold would have been so pretty. Oh man. Okay, we might have to do another one. Oh yeah, it's drying, drying. Okay. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love it, you guys. That's so pretty. What do you think? 
that is just the three colors and they really do they combine the guava and the raspberry right here where where it combined together it really does look like the couture coral love that all right i'm going to set that aside bring this one back this could be just an epic fail let's find out i'm going to clean it up with a q-tip I'm going to try to line this back up. I don't know how easy that's going to go. I just want to do the M. Oh, goodness. Okay, maybe the M and the E. So it looks like I got a little off on there too. Okay. Do that. Do that. Move it around. Pick it up. Okay, please work. Oh, yeah. All right, that worked. Yay. Now I'll let it dry and I just have a couple little spots that are smudges. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to clean these guys up. I'm just going to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I do it? No. Nope. It's unfolding easily. You don't want to force it when they stick to itself. You don't want to force it to come apart. If you need to, put it in in a water bath or under running water, and that'll let it loosen up from itself. And meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and put lids on things. Because they are drying out super quick. This one I need to add water to. I'm going to give it a spritz of water and put the lid on because it's already drying up on me so much. This is my coral. Um, and that just helps keep them from getting too dry. Just a little trick. Awesome. I hope you're feeling better, Donnelly. I'm glad you're going to film tomorrow or at least try. I hope that works out. I've been thinking about you. Yeah, this one is really, really pretty. You know, I didn't think I would I would need the guava. I was like, we already have coral. Why do we need the guava? And now I'm glad I got it because it's so different. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that. We need you to get better. Not near as much as you need you to get better, I'm sure. Okay, so now I'm going to spray these guys with my water bottle, grab my handy dandy eraser, my board eraser. Oh yeah, it's like completely dry on here. The S isn't so bad. This guy, 
very dry. I love how the board eraser actually takes the staining off of the silk screen. That is just fabulous. I know that the staining doesn't really, doesn't hurt it. Like the color doesn't transfer or anything. As long as you've got it rinsed really good, you're okay. But I just don't like it to be all stained up. Anybody else like that? Just me? I love this part where um, it actually like transfers onto the towel. I have two huge bath towels that I sacrificed to Chalk Couture that um, both say peace on earth now. <laughs> they permanently say peace on earth because it was done in ink. And even though we washed them and we didn't heat set them or anything, yeah, they say peace on earth. I've got the truck in a couple of my towels, but luckily I have towels that are just for Chalk Couture, so it doesn't bother me. They're stained up well, but that just means that I've used them. So let's see. There's a little bit more residue on that one, so I'm actually going to draw, I'm going to grab my cleaning wipe over here from the side. Go over the S first. Now that is ready to just dry. The, re the sticky is going to reactivate. Yeah, this is pulling more color out for sure. For sure, for sure. I am working on a video for you guys, an unbranded video. I'm just having complications with um, my, my laptop. My hard drive is actually pretty much full, and so it's running really slow. It's not, not letting me download what I need to download, so I'm having issues with that. But I'm hoping to have that all resolved over the weekend so that I'll have a video up for you guys by Monday. If not sooner, if I get it done sooner, it'll be up sooner. Red is really hard to get off. However, the board eraser works for me to get the red off too. So I'm loving that. Loving that. So do you guys have any good reports for this week of things you've been doing for your talk tour business? Anything that you've accomplished that was maybe on your list of goals? that you wanted to do, like who set up their business page? Did anybody set up business page? I know a couple people did because I've been getting the updates daily, but if we can celebrate it live, let's do it. Such a mess. Tamitha, that is fantastic. You go, girl. Finish it up, Shell. You can do it. You can do it. Have you run into any, um, any kind of headaches, any problems, any issues that we can try to figure out? Bye, Tanya. Have a good night. I didn't think I, I was 
kind of weary about going on um, tonight at 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock our time. I don't mind it being late. It's it's not late by my standard at all. I'm, a, I'm kind of a night owl, but I was worried that nobody would be able to jump on with it being Friday night and everything. So I'm glad you guys were able to join. I'm glad we were able to look at some colors. I love that. <coughs> I love looking at colors. You know, you can post a lot of things on the business page. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of conflicting information, so I'm going to go with um, what I've been told all along is on your business page, don't post pricing. So that's, that's what I have been told from the very beginning is do your pricing on your VIP page. Do your bundles and your pricing and any specials. If you're going to build a kit, um, anything like that, then do it on your VIP page. You know, I don't use a water bath unless I have to. Um, I found that for me, the water bath was like, I was leaving my stuff in the water too long and it was like absorbing into the vinyl and then it was taking a really long, long time to um, dry and I was losing a lot of the stickiness. So I decided I was just going to try it this way. It's working for me, but you guys do what works for you. That's kind of the beauty of it. Yes, Tamitha, VIP is for pricing. Yep. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff in your VIP group, but definitely if you're going to be sharing prices on things, that's where you want to do it. I think that it was Ken that actually showed um, cleaning the cleaning the silk screens with a foam brush and so that was what I started out doing and I found that the board eraser worked better than even the foam brush and I was still going over it in the end with the Lysol wipe or the disinfectant wipe so I just shortened the process. What I've been doing when I'm doing a video and I can't get to cleaning it if I don't want to stick it in a water bath is I put it next to me off camera and just stick it down to the surface and then go back and clean it later. Um, Mandy actually was talking about how she does that because she doesn't, she doesn't initially, she doesn't always get a chance to immediately clean the transfers like you would ne necessarily want to. So she sticks them all over the place. And then, I mean, like if it's stuck down to a work surface, it's not like this is a mat. Um, it's not going to stick, stick to it. It's going to come up off of it. It's not going to hurt anything if any of the product gets on the mat, because of course it gets on the mat anyway. And um, it doesn't hurt the transfer. So I like that. I've also heard people just sticking them to their fuzzing cloth. Well, Tam, you don't have to do videos, but, you know, Instagram is your friend. Photos are good. Um, and you've got, I mean, you've got an outlet to do that for sure. If you're posting a couple of pictures a day and you post in your personal page and your business page and your VIP page, that would be great. And you could even post different things on each one of those. I know I have um, one group that has, oh my goodness, 500. I'm, I have a group that I had before I started Chalk Couture. And so it is public. Um, so I'm being really careful about not sharing my prices there. But um, I've got over 500 people that follow me in that group. And they're not not necessarily the same people that follow me on my personal page. So I don't want to just abandon the group because some of those people have been really interested in Chalk Couture. So I don't want to lose out on those people. Does that make sense? But it's hard for me to get them to join another group. <laughs> 
you don't need a team group until you have a team and you feel like you need to have a team group um, to manage them. We have quite a few people in this team who have a downline that don't have a team group yet. Um, they just send everybody, we just do everything in this group and then of course we do things in May May's group and then we do things in Ken's group and Mandy's group and Melody's group and Brenda's group. So that is totally up to you. But it's not, it's not a necessity until you've got a team. Even if yours is a team of one, that is okay. And then it's just up to you. Do you want to do it? Yay. I like when I make sense. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> and I just noticed, you guys, we've been sideways this whole time. Ooh. I know you, you are the Facebook queen. I am trying to manage just a handful of pages and I'm going to tell you, um, it is a chore. It is a, a bigger chore than it has been. I've had, I've been an admin for quite some time in a couple of groups and I was an admin in a really large group that the, has since been um, archived, but now I'm trying to admin for Genevieve and um, it is a it is a challenge I will say I love her and I'm happy to do it I'm happy to help her out because right now she definitely needs it but, but it can be a challenge I bet I can't imagine all the groups you have Tam. Crazy, crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up for tonight. I'm going to try to get us um, an actual training plan for next Saturday, I do believe. Um, I'm checking my calendar. I wanted to do it tomorrow, but the time that everybody wanted me to do it, I am already going to be off doing something else, so I can't make that work for tomorrow. Um, I may decide to jump in tomorrow night and do some more projects. Maybe some that are planned out. These were not planned out. So um, planned projects always go a little smoother, right? I love her too. I'm, I'm really glad that we're friends. All right, y'all have a great weekend too. Remember, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and happy crafting.